These two satellite images exactly one year apart show the severity of California's drought, which has caused a state of emergency. California has only received half the rainfall of the lowest rainfall year on record. You can clearly see how much less snow there is in the mountains and green in the Central Valley. This is the daily conversation. With the West Coast's drought and the rest of the country's frigid polar vortex, you'd think more people would be paying attention to the overall issue of climate change, but they're not. This study by Media Matters shows that for the entire 2013 year, ABC, CBS, NBC, and Fox covered climate change for just two hours combined. London's latest effort to try and stop climate change is the world's largest solar-powered bridge, which will provide half the power for the Blackfriars rail station, which has 12 million people pass through it each year. Green transportation is also taking off in the United States. It is now possible to travel coast to coast in a Tesla electric vehicle using only the electricity from supercharger stations. Father-daughter team John and Jill Glennie became the first to complete the trip. Another innovation that could have a positive environmental impact are bio batteries that run on sugar. A research team at Virginia Tech has created a prototype similar in size to a typical AA battery with the potential to last twice as long as the conventional lithium ion battery. Sugar powered bio batteries could serve as next generation green power sources, particularly for portable electronics. If you really want to be no impact though, you'd bike everywhere. And while you're at it, you can compose a song. This music has no traditional instrumentation, synthesizers, samplers, or drum machines. If anyone comes up with a track that we'll want bad enough to download, there doesn't seem to be anything that'll stop it from being pirated. That's the conclusion of a study of a French three strikes law that found the law did not deter people from engaging in digital piracy. The law is so ineffective that the government has already backed off the biggest penalty of cutting off internet access for habitual pirates and has cut funding to the agency that polices the law. And we'll close today with this fascinating map that shows another aspect of the internet that governments are trying to police, digital attacks. The live visualization is a collaboration between Google and the security company Arbor Networks and is a great resource to learn and stay up to date on distributed denial of service attacks that hit websites around the world. You can watch our previous video and check out our newest one on our channel by clicking on the links on the screen. Thanks for watching this episode of The Daily Conversation. Until tomorrow, I'm Bryce Plank.